I'm going to address Matt Bayless, and then I'm sure we'll have questions. Um, and I want to just be as transparent as I can with you all, right? And, and I don't know what's being written and everything, um, but but Matt called me on Sunday and uh, informed me that he was uh, wanting to resign, and I was caught off guard. Um, you know, we met on Monday and talked about it, and ultimately his reason was that he couldn't serve the players in the capacity that he felt he should in his position, all right? It's a personal matter, um, and you know, that's how he left it with me, and, and I tried to talk him out of it, right? I have the utmost respect for Matt Bellis, um, and we have a great relationship, but ultimately it was a personal decision, and it came down to, you know what, I can't serve the players in the capacity I feel like I need to be in the head strength coach. And so um, we accepted his resignation, and, you know, as I said in the, the press release, Fred, uh, Fred Hale will, will lead the strength conditioning program moving forward, um, and... Uh, We'll, we'll go forward from there, okay? Yeah, well, he, Fred was the only guy in the, the um, strength and conditioning program that has actually led uh, a program, right? He was the head strength coach at Eastern Michigan before he came here, and so he has the experience of doing it. And so the, the plan has been already created, right? And, and as I told those guys, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. Like, we need to continue to carry on a plan that's, that's been uh, – really created from, from myself, Coach Bayless, and, and our whole strength and conditioning, our strength and performance staff. And so uh, I think they'll all do a great job, right? I, I told everybody, your job is to make sure um, that our strength and conditioning program has no dip, right? We continue to excel in making sure our guys are ready to uh, play these 12 guaranteed opportunities that we have. No, um, again, I, I, part of it is personal. Right? And he didn't really tell me exactly what those personal reasons were, but um, at the end of the day when he says this is what's best for me and my family, um, you got to respect that. Uh, but no, I, I had no idea that, that he was going to resign. You know? and We've always worked together. We talked about how to continue to get better and things like that. But never did I think I was going to get that phone call and stuff. They all stayed. I mean, it's all hard. You know, I, w I can't say this one was hard enough. Losses hurt. Anytime you lose staff members, you lose games, you lose players to the portal. Like those losses, they're never easy to to get over. But you have to, right? You have to move forward, and you always have to have a plan in place, right? For anybody, I didn't foresee Coach Bayless leaving, but I've always had plans in place. Like what happens if Coach Bayless? Leaves? What happens if this person leaves? What happens if a player leaves? You have to make sure you have a plan, and you're proactive instead of being reactive. So. Um, it never gets easier, but the ability to move forward faster is, is to me, what has to happen.